Has your hair been at the same length for years and years? Have you tried everything under the sun and it still just seems like your hair just does not want to grow? If that's you, then you've definitely landed on the right video because I'm going to be showing you my start to finish hair growth routine for longer, stronger, healthier hair, especially postpartum because postpartum can come for your edges, but not today, not today, Satan. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Amen. Hey guys and welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janet Davies and I'm your hair growth guide. And guys, I've just had a baby. I know, I know. I have been really quiet on here because I've just been trying to like get my life together off the camera, hence why I look a hot mess. But baby's about like one month old now and if you want a life update i probably would have posted on instagram by now so i'll link it just like here but you already know the reason i'm wearing this bonnet guys is because my hair is in some desperate desperate need of tlc i'm afraid to show you i'm embarrassed like it's not even it's not i can't <laughs> but yeah you guys already know when it comes to looking after your hair especially postpartum this is going to be the video to really help you if you are in the season or even if you're not in the season but you know eventually you're gonna you know have a baby and stuff and you want to know how to take care of your hair postpartum then this is the video for you i'm going to be talking about all things that you need to look out for and do to ensure that your hair is at its healthiest even whilst postpartum and all the crazy stuff that happens and if you do hear any noises that's baby just doing baby stuff but yeah without further ado let's get right into the video so i've had a protective style in since i think about 38 weeks pregnant and he's gonna be five weeks old tomorrow so if i can do the maths oh my gosh he was born at 40 weeks so if i can do the maths 38 plus 2 that's five that's seven weeks wow okay we did it i've had this hair in for seven weeks and it is <sighs> it's just i mean it's not the worst thing in the world but i'm so over it and my hair just needs to come out desperately my scalp is so dirty and all the hair is like overgrown sorry it might be a bit tmi but you know on this channel i like to show you guys the real 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 so when it comes to taking out protective hairstyles you want to make sure that you are not getting rid of all of the hard work that you've done to wear this protective style in for however many weeks or whatever it is because when you do take down a protective style the most important thing so if you literally don't remember anything in this video just remember this when you take down protective styles you want to make sure that this part where the braid meets your hair is taken care of very 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 delicately because that part that point of demarcation is very fragile it's got a lot of build up and very and people tend to just go in with a comb and just like comb through but that can lead to so much breakage and just deterioration of your hair so if you want to maintain the length that you have grown you want to make sure that whilst you're taking these braids down you are going to coat your fingers with an oil and of course i love the extra strength hair strengthening oil from amira naturals my baby because it's infused with so many great herbs that promote the health and the strength of your hair so all i'm literally going to be doing is taking these braids out i want to start at the back because i'm actually going somewhere um and i really hope i haven't cut my hair because i did cut these to the length of my hair because i didn't want to have like really long braids but literally all i'm going to be doing is taking the braid out so we have gotten to that part of the braid which has so much build up hopefully you guys can see and this part 
of the braid is something you need to take so much delicate care of what you don't want to do is go in with a comb and just like comb because literally all you're going to do is break off all of that new growth look at how much my hair has grown in seven weeks that is insane and just think about it. if i just went through that would cause so much breakage so we're not going to do that what we are going to do is use some oil and lubricate that part, that part because this is needs to be taken down so gently to prevent breakage and what you don't want to do is just kind of like hop in the shower with your hair in this state because all that will happen is if you get this wet it will become more tangled and then matted and even harder to detangle so you want to make sure your hair and your fingers are lubricated with an oil which should help to loosen the mattedness and then get rid of the build up and then enable you to retain length so guys if you forget everything i say in this video it's just to remember this make sure when you're taking down any protective style to use oil to loosen the mattedness see already as i've just begun to put to put some oil it's already starting to become easier easier to detangle and eventually get rid of that build up so I'm just going to be doing that. I'm going to try and stop talking and just show you guys. And if necessary, I will do a voiceover. And I hope that baby doesn't wake up because, yeah. Hey guys, so pretty much I'm just going to be using my hands to very, very gently try to remove all that build up from the root. And this can take some time. I won't lie to you guys. I did speed this up. Um, and I'm also cutting out any single stranded knots because those can also cause breakage. But yes, the guys, this does take time. But I guarantee you that if you follow this method, especially when you take down your protective styles, you are going to see so much more length retention. So a little bit of effort does go a long way on this natural hair journey. So make sure that when you're taking down these protective styles, definitely take your time to detangle to detangle thoroughly so that you can get the best results and actually see the length that you want because there's no point doing a protective style and then your hair breaking off it just doesn't make sense so yeah i really hope you guys love this and yeah my hair was so dirty goodness gracious me so yeah let's get into the shower and deal with this mess <laughs> So jumping into the shower, I'm going to be doing something that's really important and that's filing my nails. This is often very overlooked, but I guarantee you, you will have less breakage because your nails won't be snagging on them. So definitely make sure you file your nails and you also want to have some scissors to cut out any single stranded knots, a brush or comb to get rid of shed hair and some clips for sectioning because sectioning is life. So starting off with this extremely dirty hair, guys, I'm going to go first in with the tan slayer and I'm actually starting off my routine a little bit different because I've realized that honestly detangling before you do anything else makes the process of wash state so much smoother and easier so I'm going to be saturating my hair with water and sectioning my hair into four sections because you don't want to be overwhelmed with just so much hair all at once because that can make you actually break your hair off because you're just frustrated and overwhelmed so I've definitely learned through all these years of being natural, that sectioning my hair first is so important. So I'm soaking my hair with water and I'm going to go in with the Tangle Slayer to detangle my hair. And I've got some text on the screen just for more details. But honestly, guys, you want to make sure your hair is soaking wet. You want to apply the Tangle Slayer and then you want to be finger detangling first. Fingers first and comb second. Fingers first, comb second. This Tangle Slayer will honestly soften your hair so it feels like silk and you can actually glide through your hair so easily. And I've actually saved this to the very middle of the video because I only want people who are my real, real subscribers to be aware. But we actually have a few cells, one on the 4th of July and one on the 7th of July. So I'm going to definitely link all the stuff in the description above. But guys, this Tangle Slayer is live it really will help you cut your wash day to a wash 30 minute it cuts your detangling in half and just trust me guys i don't even need to sell it read the reviews and grab a bottle yourself and definitely comment down below if you do and tell me how much you love it because there's no one that hits it 
So I'm going to be going in detangling with care. And this is actually the most important part in your um, wash day routine is making sure that you're actually detangling with care because that will reduce the amount of breakage you get. And I'm reactivating the conditioner every now and again with a bit of water. But I'm taking my sweet time because this is so important. I don't rush through this. And this is why I say if you don't have the time, don't wash your hair. Only do it when you genuinely do have the time to look after your hair. So I'm going in with my fingers, getting rid of all of those tangles little by little. And then eventually you're going to have, oh, of course, I'm putting stuff on the wall because I don't want to, you know, clog up my train. And I'm going to be using this brush, not sideways, but lengthways, if you can see. And I'm starting off from the bottom and then making my way up to the top very, very gently. And if there are ever any snags that I can't comb through, I will just stop and detangle with my hands. But it's really important also to use a comb because it does get rid of shed hair, which can cause tangles. So yes. So when I'm done with that section, I'm pretty much going to use this little hack of like squeezing the excess conditioner into the other section just to kind of save on conditioner, guys, because look... In this lifestyle, we need to make sure we're reusing and recycling. So I'm going to pretty much be doing this all over my hair, using a bit of water into each section, using the tangle slayer and then combing through. And I'm just showing you guys how I comb through my hair. I hold my hair as I'm combing through. I don't just like let it go and then let it bounce. I actually hold the hair because if you let it go and let it bounce, it will literally like tangle on itself. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, but as you can see, I'm showing you the method method in which I get rid of the shed hair. So majority of the time I am finger detangling, but I will go in with a comb after finger detangling to make sure that all the shed hair is removed. And as you can see, my hair is completely transformed. It makes my hair feel like butter. And that's how much hair I lost in that process of seven weeks. I'm then going to go in with the herbal infusion hair growth shampoo. Again, all the products I'm using will be in the description bar and definitely look out for our sale, which is on the 4th of July, hopefully when this video is posted you have a quick flash sale and also on the 7th of july for our third birthday i'm going to be going in also with a scalp massager to stimulate blood flow and honestly guys this shampoo has everything that you need for strengthening your hair it's infused with so many great ingredients and it genuinely is something you want to put in your hair. It's one of those shampoos that you shampoo your hair and your hair feels so great afterwards. It's almost like a conditioning shampoo. It just works wonders and the reviews again speak for themselves. So definitely check out our website and have a look. But yeah, this is how my hair is looking, fully cleansed. And then I'm going to go in with my Ultimate Strength Intense Deep Conditioning Mask because this, ah, oh, guys, it's really made for everyone who wants reduced shedding and breakage. And it's also a protein treatment which helps to repair and strengthen your hair. And especially if you're high porosity, this is going to be something that you're going to love. So I'm just going to make sure I put that all over my hair and I'm going to be putting it in in sections to make sure that each and every strand of my hair is, <laughs> is covered in this conditioner. But... Um, I, I'm kind of going to like rush through the rest. So I'm shampooing the rest of my hair and then I'm going to go in with the deep conditioner. But this deep conditioner, again, is infused with so many herbs. And I'm doing a little, little quick length check because I can't believe just how much my hair has grown all throughout the years. And yeah, so I'm just shampooing the other sections I didn't do. I'm kind of doing it in this weird order, but hopefully you guys will forgive me. So I'm shampooing and looking at, look at that foam. This shampoo is, you're not afraid to rub it through your hair because it literally is so good for the health of your hair it nourishes it it's full of you know vitamins like a e d and k and overall your hair will really benefit so that's how my hair is looking look at the before and look at the after honestly where would i be without amino naturals and so i'm just rinsing out all that deep conditioner in i let it sit in for about 20 to 30 minutes and just look at that come on my hair is so oh it felt so good it feels like silk this deep conditioner does have silk in it, so it literally makes your hair feel like silk. It's strengthened, but it's not really hard. It's really soft and manageable and workable. And yeah, I really love my hair like this. And I'm going to be then going in with my leave-in and oil combo because you want to make sure that you don't just deep condition and leave it off as that. You kind of want to follow up with a leave-in conditioner, I've squeezed out the excess water, and then an oil, because the oil will help to seal that moisture into your hair and also strengthen it. So you have that double-edged sword, <laughs> you know, you have 
some water through the conditioner helping to moisturize your hair and then you have an oil to seal all of that moisture in and this oil does strengthen the hair because it has olive oil and avocado oil which are one of the few oils that actually can penetrate the hair cortex and strengthen the overall strand and it also contains so many different herbs that can help to nourish the hair it's like hair food you will notice that a lot of the products that I use do contain herbs because I genuinely have seen such a difference in my hair throughout the years when I've kind of made a switch to more natural products. So yes, I love herbs. They have made, you know, they've just worked wonders on my hair. My hair is just so much more healthy and I'm just loving it. And I'm pretty much done with in terms of like product application. I'm going to be going in with a protective style because... Honestly, guys, as a mum of now of two, I just don't have the time. So anything to make my life simple, I'm here for it. So I'm pretty much just going to be putting my hair in just two large braids or cornrows. I'm not the best, best braider. I'm not good at explaining it. So guys, I can't even give you a, a tutorial on this because I'm just not even sure if I know what I'm doing. But yeah, I pretty much just cornrow my hair. I Because my hair is so thick, I try to do it in two sections but yeah I'm just putting my hair away because I want to maintain length whilst all you know still having healthy hair in this postpartum journey honestly guys you know you just don't have the time so the best thing to do is just protect the hair put it in a protective style and make sure it's moisturized and just leave it alone and just run after those kids because those kids they be trying our patience but we love them so yeah I'm also going to be going in with my extra strength hair growth potion to my edges because as you already know postpartum shedding mainly attacks the like crown and temple of your hair so you want to make sure that your roots are really strengthened and those are my weak spots so I try to go in with that but that's pretty much it I don't want this video to be too long so thank you guys and I'll catch you in the next one I love you. Oh, that's how much hair I lost, lost in the shower. Sorry if it's TMI, but I like to be really open and transparent. But see you guys later. Love you. Bye.